Ah, hello again everyone. You've caught me doing some touch typing. Now I would like to show you uh, a couple of really good programs that you can use online that can help you with touch typing. Now, uh, just to let you know what touch typing is. It's the skill of the ability to use a computer keyboard without having to look at the keys and with your hands automatically knowing where the keys are. I think this is a skill, and some teachers may even disagree with me here, but I think this is a skill that's probably as important in our technologically driven lives as good handwriting is. And if you can touch type, type with speed and accuracy, uh, then it frees you up to do so much more writing and learning uh, by using computers. Now, the only proviso, the only thing you need is very, uh, is a keyboard. So if you're using a tablet, it's not so good what I'm going to show you. But if you've got a keyboard in your house, maybe a laptop or a desktop, I suspect your parents might be using them a bit at the moment. Uh, but if you can get some time on the keyboard, uh, it's a really good thing to learn. So I'm going to show you a couple of websites now. It could be any age to do this. A couple of websites. Um, you may be familiar with them already, that will really help you with touch typing. The first one's called Dance Mat. So dance is in dancing. If you put into Google BBC Dance Mat, what will come up is something like this. And you may find there's a, a goat, cartoon goat talking with a Liverpudlian accent. If so, you, you're on the right side. So BBC Dance Mat touch typing you can put in as well and this will come up and it will give you some blurb which I'm not going to show you now but you'll see it uh, and it will talk about the home row now Chloe could you move the camera in a bit to the keyboard the home row is the mid row on a keyboard okay and when you get to a keyboard there's two keys that stand out they are F and they are J now, when you use a keyboard later, have a little look at those keys and you might notice they've got little bumps on them. Therefore, your index fingers to go on. OK, so the key thing is, no pun intended, is to put your index finger off your right hand on the J key and the index finger off your left hand on the F key. And what happens is that allows your hands to sit in a position across the middle of the keyboard. Now that's really important because from this position, with only slight movement, your fingers can move up or down or across, okay? Now, both the websites I'm gonna show you, are gonna talk you through this and show you in a bit more detail, but it's all to do with that F and a J. And remember, what we're looking for is this, is, move back a little close, is you want to be using your hands as though you're a hawk flying. So we're typing like this. We're not pecking like a hen, okay? We're using our hands like an eagle would use its wings. So uh, I'm gonna show you now uh, BBC Dance Map, which is what I'm on. There's only one rule, and that is not to look at the keyboard, okay? Try not to look at the keys. Now I'm gonna suggest but you have someone help you do this. You're gonna get your hands in position like so, but then it's a really good idea to then cover up your hands with a cloth. I've got a tea towel here. Tea towels are kind of quite good, okay? And I've got my F and my J on, on the keys, and at the top of this screen here, it's telling me what I have to press. So my next one is a space, so I use my form for the space, you see the cursor at the top, it's asked me to do F, and then a G. Now I've got the keys also shown on the screen anyway. So I can press G next, then F, then space, then F, then D. I can see it's next to my F, and then the S is further along, and then the A, space, F, G. Whoops, and I did that wrong there. So G, F, space, F, D, S, A. And it's all about building up speed, okay? Well, great start. How very kind. So don't look at the keys, cover the board up. And really it's just practice, practice, practice. And you can see now the computer's asking me 
For the right hand side of the home keys here, so J, K, L, semicolon, and space. And it's just going to get me to practice that over and over again. So that's one website. Now there's a similar one, which also tracks the score and it shows you your hand positions on the screen. This one is called typingclub.com. Okay, just going to zoom in on the URL. This may or may not 